Hello, I'm going to show you how to do the basic functions in Onshape in this tutorial. And so what we're actually going to do today is make this test lesson. And we're going to make a generic cube. And after we make the cube, we're going to extrude it up. And then we're going to actually put uh, four holes through it. And then we're going to use uh, the chamfer tool instead of actually the fillet tool. And that's what gives it these edges that you see um, on the block and also uh, countersinking as well. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to the top left corner in Onshape and click on the Create button. Then what you need to do is go down and click on Document with the left button on the mouse. You're going to label this Test Lesson. Now I'm doing Test Lesson 1 because I've already done one called Test Lesson. And then I left click on OK. You're going to see your build plane in all the different planes. Immediately take your mouse to the left and hover over where it says front and move your mouse to the eyeball and click once with the left button on your mouse. Then do the same thing on right. Take your mouse and hover over the eyeball and left click once. You should only see the top plane. Then take your mouse and left click on the top uh, portion of the cube on the right and it will put you looking straight down on the top. Now again, you can hold the right button down on your mouse and move your mouse around while holding the right button down and that moves you around and anytime you want to get straight on top of the plane, you can come over to the cube and left click on the top part of the cube. Now rolling the mouse uh, wheel back and forward zooms in, so if you ever need to zoom in or zoom out, you will use the wheel. Okay, let's get started. The first step is take your mouse, go all the way up to the left and the top of the screen where it says sketch left click one time then immediately bring your mouse down to the plane and it'll turn orange or yellow on your screen and as soon as it turns orange left click once that'll now put a plane or a sketch right here on the plane that you're going to be working on you're then going to take your mouse up to the bar where the rectangle tool is and you're going to left click on the down arrow and bring your mouse down to where it says center point rectangle you're then going to put your mouse on the dot in the center, left click one time. You'll see two numbers appear. You can even let go of your mouse at this time. But all you have to do now is pull down to the bottom right corner with your mouse. And it, it follows your mouse, so it doesn't matter. You don't want to make it huge like this. You just want to make it nice and small and click one time. Now we're done, but we have an issue. We're measuring in inches and I need it in millimeters. So you're going to take your mouse up to the three bars in the top left corner of your screen, click on them, go down to where it says workspace units, and left click one time. And then right at the top where it says inches, left click one time, and left click on millimeter, and left click on the checkbox. Now what you're going to do is go to the, the box you drew, it'll turn orange, right click with your mouse, and then go edit the sketch by clicking left on the mouse. Now what you need to do is go to the dimension tool in the top of the bar, left click on it once, you'll see that you have the plus sign, bring it down to the first line and you'll see it turn yellow, click once, and then bring your mouse up and you're not even pushing any buttons or holding any buttons at this time, and left click one time. Type in five zero and hit enter. Do the same thing with the line to the left, left click and pull out, and type in 50. Now all you have to do is go to the extrude tool on the top left corner of the screen, left click one time, and now you can hold the right button down and see that we're beginning to extrude this block. You should see a menu pop up and it has 25 millimeters by default. Let's make this 50 millimeters so we have a cube. Then you're going to hit the checkbox. So now you've made a cube today. Now what we need are the four holes. So this is real simple. All we're going to do is do what we did in the beginning. Now looking at the front on the cube, like so, we're looking on the front of the cube, not the top of the cube, but the front. You're going to go ahead and hit sketch like you did in the beginning, left click, and left click on that face that turns orange. Now you're on sketch two. You're going to come up to the point tool, and all you're going to have to do is take left click on the point tool, and start your mouse down at the bottom. Don't click, just follow straight up and it should take you uh, to the middle. 
Now we got one problem is, is we got to find the middle. So I'm actually going to teach you another way to do it. I could do it like this, but I want to teach you a foolproof way. Take the line tool and all you're going to do is go down to the bottom dot and left click once. And then what you're going to do is drag your mouse over until you see that symbol where it's got a dot in the middle of the line. And then you're going to bring it all the way across slowly with your mouse. And then when you see the two yellow lines telling you that you've got a, a straight line and up and down line, you're going to click. Now I'm going to right click and escape the line. Now I have a line that's dead middle on that face. I'm going to come over to the circle toolbar and click on the arrow downward and go to the center point circle. I'm going to left click on the point and drag my mouse out. And then what I'm going to do is get the dimension tool like I showed you and click on that circle once and pull the mouse out. We're going to make that 25 millimeters and hit enter. Now all you have to do is hit the extrude button. Now by default it's going to add. We actually want to click remove. And then we want to go to where it says blind and we want to go through all and hit check. So now we have a hole going through the center of the block. Now what we want to do is go to the top of the block. So we're going to click top and we're going to do the same thing, but we're okay. We don't have to do anything because we already have a center dot um, in the middle. So we're going to go sketch, left click on the block and now we've got sketch three. We're going to click on the center point circle and we're going to click on the dot once and pull the mouse out. Now if we didn't do a center point rectangle, you wouldn't be able to do this because the box would be over here. So you'd have to do the line trick. But since we did what we did, it saved us time. Left click on the dimension tool, left click on the circle, and then type in 25, hit the extrude button in the top left corner, select remove, change it to through all, and hit check. Now we've got almost a complete block like I showed you in the beginning of the lesson. But now we got to do another side, which is the left side. Now what we're going to do is left click on sketch and left click on this face. Now we're on sketch four. Now we're going to use the line tool again. We're going to left click on that center dot. And what we're going to do is kind of bring our line over and touch that line until we get that midpoint dot. And we're going to bring it over and click once and we're done. We're then going to go to the circle tool left click once on this on the dot that was in the middle and just drag it out and click go to the dimension tool left click on the line on the circle line click again type in 25 let's go to the extrude button the top left we're going to select remove and we're going to go check and do through all and hit the check mark now we're almost done now all you have to do is zoom out a little bit and we're going to go to the chamfer tool and we're going to select the chamfer tool and all I have to do is click on each face. So around the block, all you're going to do is keep clicking, left clicking on each face of the block. And you're going to see that it does that chamfer for you. When you're done, you're going to hit the checkbox. And to share this with me, you're going to go click share in the top right corner. You're going to type in my name at GCSS k12.net you're going to make sure I can edit make sure copy export share and comment are there and then you're going to go share and send it to me okay all right thank you so much for watching this short intro on our first CAD lesson in the class and I hope you enjoy it